eu sou a Susana, sou a diretora do Português Surf Film Festival na Ericeira. I'm Susana Andrade, I'm the founder and festival director of the Portuguese Surf Film Festival, which takes place in Ericeira. It's one of the oldest um, surf film festivals in Europe, I believe. I'm in Switzerland, um, so uh, temporarily until, until the summer and then going back to Portugal. Well, it started in 2011. I guess that was really the year where everything changed. Changed for me as well and for Irisaira um, because um, I started doing filmmaking um, in uh, exactly that year and we did a short film about, about the surfer girl and that film uh, had its world premiere in New York and then it won uh, Best Short in the British Surf Film Festival, which happened only that year. Um, also in 2011, Irisera is um, proclaimed a world surfing reserve, Europe's only at that time. Now in 2022, uh, there's another world surfing reserve in Devon, in England. Um, but at the time it was the only one and this was quite a big deal. And me uh, being from that area and being a native of Irisera, Mafra and that bigger region, um, I decided to make a proposal and to present to the municipality, which happened exactly during that consagration party. I just couldn't wait. And so the municipality was there. I called them aside and I said, I have a great project to present to you and I think you will like it a lot and I think it will be quite successful. In 2015, around that time, we started noticing that we were getting all these emails from from people from all around Europe especially asking when is the festival going to take place because we want to book our holidays but it has to be during the festival so when the festival was still a, a toddler and we started noticing that people did take notice and they were designing their holidays around this event um, then then you realize that the event is meaningful and it means something for 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 people in general so that's great I just had a flashback. I just had a flashback when I was probably around 10, 10 years old and one of my cousins living in the north of Portugal and really inland came to visit for the first time. He saw the ocean and he was so excited. So I think that more than me, who I grew up next to the ocean. I don't remember the first time I saw, but I remember what it is like for a child to see the ocean for the first time and how impressive it was for him and he just couldn't help himself but say well there's so much water there's so much water i cannot see the end and that stayed in my mind i was 10 he was around eight years old and he had never seen these were other uh, other times of course and um, that that moment is still engraved in my memory somehow Oh, so many things bring me joy. I'm a very, I live very joyfully, I, I would say. But I think that uh, establishing a goal for myself and for, for my legacy, and I think somehow we are all here to leave something behind. And so every time I establish something else in that legacy of mine, I'm, uh, that makes me incredibly happy. workshops, influencers, great examples. I think that's, that's what we need to do, continue doing. First thing that comes to mind, stress in Switzerland. Love it. The Verve takes me back to the times I lived in, uh, in Holland, things like this. So the Verve is definitely one of my favorite bands. So every time I hear a certain music, I can very vividly remember a certain moment in my life. So I think music is as important for me as it is for everybody else. It is such a, 
a, a way to to actually live um, through life with a, a more meaningful and deeper connection to others as well and not only to you because we are so um, we are so isolated with our computers with our social media etc um, and it's through the passions and, and music has to be on top three it's through all these passions that we are able to connect with one another I would say Uh, I would say Jules Ahoy and um, Ben Howard uh, are now top of mind for me when it comes to, to ocean. I'm married to a Frenchman, so, so I would say marriage. <laughs> Oh, peace. Activism. Connection. Because they have to be connected. They have to be connected more or less, more, more and more. Matrix. <laughs> I think I, I mentioned this already before and I, I will do it again. The European Union has this, gives us the freedom to, to travel within and to live and work abroad. So live and work abroad, go explore, go meet new people uh, and um, go, go get a little bit of perspective that is not just from your family, from your town, from your country, but really go out there and, and see the world through your own eyes and live in that place. Don't just go and visit, but go and live in that place for a year, two years. You will never regret. You will find it so refreshing and you will come back to wherever home is. Uh, stronger, more connected, and um, yeah, more hopeful as well. Mm -hmm.